So I see you've done something different with the bot. Yeah, so you gave me this kit to to just kind of try it out to to test out, and uh, a couple things that I that I did a little bit differently. One is um, the kit you gave me didn't have popsicle sticks, so <laughs> I, I I was just sort of rummaging around to see what I had, and I had some uh, some printed circuit boards, so I just kind of cut those out. So you can use oh, that's cool. You can just kind of use whatever you have. And the other thing you notice when I was looking for for something to replace the popsicle sticks, I found these little clips that you can use to clip the batteries in. Oh, that's great. And then you don't have to worry about like breaking the hot glue and re redoing it, you can just sort of snap them on. Yeah, the battery just pops out like that and... You take the battery, oh yeah, battery that's comes awesome. comes right out and you can pop it back in. And this is actually good because I, I didn't have any batteries at home that weren't dead. <laughs> so I didn't want to glue the dead ones in. Yeah, that makes it a lot easier to swap out. I noticed you don't have a paper clip on that one. Yeah, the other nice thing about this, and I, I totally didn't in intend this, but... Um, you know, the paper clip kind of keeps it from, from uh, rocking back and forth like this. Yeah. You can see it's kind of rocking. But if you, uh, I found if you just back these batteries out a little bit, they have, oh, the that's same, awesome. they have the same effect. Yeah. So now it doesn't rock quite as much. So you can get it to... And you can just kind of, you know, adjust these one way or the other and, and get the balance just right. Yeah, that's awesome. Can we see it run? Yeah, yeah, I got a little program in here that makes them spin. Well, there it goes. There it goes. Nice. And it just goes back and forth. Oh, I like that. That's awesome. I like the way that you changed out the batteries. You have to grab them at just the right time. Yep. <laughs> Got it. No, that is, that's really great. I mean, that makes it a whole lot easier to, to upgrade and change those things out. Yeah, it's much easier than having to pry off the hot glue and, and re-glue the batteries. Because yeah. batteries are such a kind of an integral part of the structure, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's a nice, nice uh, improvisation there with the uh, circuit board. I guess you could use just about anything that's consistently a consistent thickness and what have you. Yeah, I was just rummaging around for something stiff like that. <laughs> that's what I came across. But, I know. Uh, I noticed one more thing on yours. Uh, the 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 bottle caps aren't quite flush against the motor. Can you explain why you did it that way? Yeah, something I noticed. Um, you didn't call this out in the video, but just as I was um, as I was putting it together, I don't know. If you can kind of see. Yeah, the bottle caps don't go all the way back, and that's just because if you look at the, if you look at, you know, the the shaft of the motor. I don't know if you have another motor around here somewhere. Sure. Yeah. Let me see if I can. Dig but the, out. but the shaft of that motor um, is is kind of knurled towards the end, but not all the way in. And so I I didn't want to put the bottle cap all the way in. If you look at the the motor here, you can kind of see this this uh, textured area. Oh yeah, here. yeah. So I just I just kind of back the uh, the bottle cap out a little bit, so that it's against that textured area so that there's a little bit more friction between the, the motor shaft and the, and the bottle cap. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so that way you don't have to worry about it slipping and coming loose as much. That's right. Cool. Awesome. Well, ben, that, that looks great. Yeah, it was a fun little project. Cool. Thanks for using me as a guinea pig. <laughs>